YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 15 Breakthrough Pokemon Booster Packs. Now this is another larger booster pack opening that I'm doing on my channel. I've been doing a lot of 15 booster pack openings lately. Now the way that I obtained these booster packs is I went to the GameStop clearance sale, bought several different products through that sale, and then opened those products and pulled these packs from those boxes. I have opened up 10 breakthrough booster packs recently, had pretty amazing pulls out of those booster pack openings, so hoping to get the same type of pulls here. And Breakthrough is a very good set. As a collector, I wasn't a huge fan of the set, but as someone in the competitive TCG, just starting to get more competitive, really do like this set, a lot of good cars. And of course, Breakthrough is the oldest set you can use in the standard format. This set did come out November 4th, 2015. 66 set in the Pokemon TCG. The card I'd really hope for would be a Bridget Full Art Trainer. Bridget, a very good supporter card. That card allows you to put three basic Pokemon or one Pokemon EX on your bench. So the first pack here starts with a Goldeen, Cyndaquil, Hippopotas, Cubone, Elgem, Wobbuffet, Cacturn, Haunter, Reverse Solo of a Staryu, that's just a common, and the first rare in this opening is a Simiseer. Another card that I would like to pull out of this opening would be a Heavy Ball Trainer. And that's solely for a deck that I'm building around Glycopod GX and then Garbodor. Would also love to pull a Zoroark Hollow, a Bridget Uncommon Trainer, or even a Floatstone. Second pack here starts with a Spritzy, Cyndaquil, Hoot Hoot. Mischievous, Froakie, Brazen, Assault Vest, Floet, Reverse Solo of an L Gem, that is just a common, and the rare here would be an Eveltal, and that is a rare holo. So at least I have something to summarize at the end of this opening. Always do summaries of my opening at the end of the video in case you're short on time. Zoroark, break cover artwork pack now. And as you can probably tell by the designs on the cover artwork of the packs here, this set is based around Mewtwo and then both forms of Mega Mewtwo, X and Y. So the next pack here starts with Mischievous, Hoot Hoot, Cyndaquil, and I think I pulled Cyndaquil in every pack so far, Spritzy, Remoraid, and I use this Remoraid with Octillery from this set to draw cards in most of my decks, Town Map, Buddy Buddy Rescue, Stunfisk, Reverse Solo of a Haxorus. There's a rare for a Reverse Solo. And the final card would be a Marowak. Now I believe it is the Breakpoint set. There are two different code cards you can get in the packs. This set just has the one version of the code card. Now there is positives and negatives to opening packs like this just from random boxes. You could get amazing pulls. You could get terrible pulls. I like opening packs out of booster boxes best just because you are guaranteed certain pulls. Haven't pulled too much so far, but it really just takes the one pack. Starly to start this one. Goldeen. There's that Cyndaquil. Hippopotas. Cubone. Staravia. Professor's Letter. Spoopa. Reverse Solo of a Noivern Break. Pretty good pull here. And Break cards, they are fairly tough to pull. They're not really worth much. And the final card would be a Simipore. So Noivern Break, very good right there. Mega Houndoom cover artwork pack now. I was going to say another white colored code card, but every single code card looks like this. Chespin to start the pack. Zoroa. Froki. Snover. Cacnea. Sandslash. Prinplup. Curlia. Reverse Solo. I have a Zoroark break, that's a little bit better of a break pull, so break pulls in back-to-back -back packs, can't do much better than that. And the final card here would be an Aromatissi. One of the two Mega Mewtwo cover artwork design packs now. Been on sort of a good luck streak lately with not only this booster pack opening, but all of my booster pack openings in general. I hope that luck continues with Ultra Prism in February. So this pack starts with a Staryu. There's that Cyndaquil again, Panpour, Froakie, Bronzor, Cacturn, Haunter, Prinplup, Reverse Solo, a Magneton, that is an uncommon, and the rare here 
would be a Bronzong. Another Mega Mewtwo pack. Inke to start it. Next up, Pikachu. A lot of people are fans of Pikachu, of course. Magnemite. Cubone. Snubble. Prinplup. Skyla. Pretty good supporter card there. Glalie Spirit Link. Reverse Hollow of a Florigis, and that is a rare. Second rare Reverse Hollow pull so far. And the final card is another Marowak. I believe that is the second Marowak that I've pulled this opening. About halfway through this 15 booster pack opening. And you may have seen on my Twitter page a while back, I posted a picture from Walmart. My local Walmart had both Breakpoint and Breakthrough Elite Trainer boxes there. Picked up a Breakpoint one, had several Breakthrough packs to open up from the GameStop clearance sale. Also had probably 15 Guardians Rising Elite Trainer boxes. Snubble to start this pack. There's that Remoraid again. Piplup. Doduo. Hippopotus. Swoobat. Go Goat. Town Map. Reverse Solo of a Town Map. So the same exact card right in a row. Uncommon Reverse Solo here. And the final card is a Haxorus. And that is a rare holo. Really like the holo foil pattern on this card. Really stands out. Another Mega Mewtwo pack now. So not any ultra rare pulls or anything yet. But a couple of holo pulls. A couple of break pulls. Fennekin to start this pack. Flabbe. Sandshrew. Cubone. Noibat. Go Goat. Mewtwo Spirit Link. Fracture. Reverse Solo of a Starmie, that is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Parasect. So another rare non holo there. Six packs left to go, including this one. Cyndaquil right on the front of this pack, I can see. So like I mentioned, Cyndaquil to start this pack. Panpour. Froki. Bronzor. Chesspin. Quillotting, going basic to stage one there. Behem. Seeking. Reverse Hollow of a Wobbuffet, a beautiful looking card. Uncommon, Reverse Hollow here. And the final card would be a Cresselia, and that is a rare non holo I am always a fan of the illustrations that have some sort of city skyline in the background. Mega Mewtwo pack now. Panport to start this pack. Froki. Bronzor. Chespin. Piplup. Fisherman, Stunfisk, Snorlax, Reverse Solo of a Mewtwo Spirit Link, that is an uncommon. And the final card here, there we go, a Mega Mewtwo EX, and that is an EX Full Art. So that made this opening right here. This card at one time was worth about $20, so not a bad pull at all. Take that any day. Okay, out of these four remaining packs, I'd still love to pull that Heavy Ball Trainer. Otherwise, I'm going to have to purchase one for my deck. Fennekin to start this pack. Doduo. Chespin. Inke. Pikachu. Granbull. Judge. Frogdier. Reverse Solo of a Swinub. That is just a common. And the rare here would be a Smurgle. Zoroark break on this cover artwork. All the Heavy Ball Trainer does is it allows you to search your deck for a Pokemon that has a three colorless energy card, retreat cost or higher, and put it into your hand. So that way you can search for Wimpod, Golisopod, or Garbodor. Chespin to start this pack. Piplup. Noibat. Chespin, so two Chespin in the pack. Ralts, and I use this card in my Gardevoir GX deck. Assault Vest, Piloswine, Granbull, Reverse Solo of a Starly, just a common. And the final card would be an Empoleon, and that is a rare hollow. And of course, I am partial to water type starters. I would say that is my favorite type of Pokemon. Both remaining packs here have Zoroark Break on the cover. At this point, I would just love to pull the Heavy Ball Trainer, and I have completed the entire breakthrough set. So second last pack here starts with Skiddo, Ralts, Noibat, Magnemite, Piplup, there we go, Bridget, not a bad trainer card here, Stunfisk, Buddy Buddy Rescue, 
Reverse Hollow of a Reserve Ticket, so almost taunting me with three trainers in this pack. This is an uncommon. And the final card is a Typhlosion, and that is a Hollow. So doing very well with the Hollow cards in this opening. Final pack here. Like I said, Zoroark Break on the cover artwork. Code card. So the final pack starts with a Ralts, this time a Psychic Type. Swine Up. Noibat. Skiddo. Zoroa, Parallel City, that's a stadium card. I use this in my Gardevoir GX deck. Granbull, Haunter, last chance for a heavy ball here. Swoobat is the reverse hollow, that is an uncommon. And the final card here would be a Noctowl. So a little bit disappointing, I didn't pull that heavy ball trainer, but a very good pulls overall. Have a lot to summarize here. So out of these 15 packs, I was able to pull two rare reverse hollow in Florges and Haxorus, four rare hollow in Typhlosion, Empoleon, Haxorus, and then Eveltal, two break cards in Zoroark, and then Noivern, and then easily the best pull this opening, the Mega Mewtwo EX Full Art. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.